Hi guys, welcome to another episode of uh, Packing for Vacation. So today I'm going to show you some of the things you might need for packing for your baby's vacation. As you can tell, I'm Mother Mara and it's awesome. I didn't think it would feel like a holiday, but it actually does feel like a holiday. So there's some things I packed that were absolutely unnecessary and there's some things I packed I didn't pack and now I regret not packing them. I wish I did the video way before coming here so then I could get recommendation on some of the things I need. But we're here. We're here to learn and we learn. So welcome. I have my baby suitcase here with me, which is the biggest because you need to carry everything that you think you'll need. So you just put in things. And then I ended up putting things that I, not putting things that I'll need. So first we'll need to obviously carry a lot of shawls because you don't know how many you'll need so i have a light one and a, and a medium one and an extremely warm one so it's september uh, it's warm not so hot it's warm at the mara so yeah i'm glad i did carry the light one and the medium one because that's what i've been using of late i've not used the extremely heavy one yet so you'll need that you'll need three because you don't know what to expect and then I ended up carrying a few sweaters, as you can tell. Uh, again, from heavy to extremely light. This is the absolutely light one. And mini sweaters. Because I didn't know, again, what to expect. Uh, so yeah, medium to extremely heavy. If you know how the weather is, then good for you. Because then you won't be carrying so many things that you don't need. For me, I wasn't so sure. The last time I was here, it was raining. This time I mean, it's hot. So... I didn't know what to expect. And then, obviously, you'll need a few bed sheets because we are co-sleeping. So we thought maybe the baby would get her own bed, but she's too small for that and she might fall off the bed. So we are still co-sleeping. We're on holiday, yes, and co-sleeping. Uh, we usually prefer, for me, I prefer having, just spreading a bed, her, be, her bed sheet on the bed so she doesn't, she's not in contact with the other bed sheets. It's not like the dirty, but I just like when she uses what she's used to in case maybe she gets a reaction, then I can pick up and know where that came from. And then I think other than the beddings and all that, the other things I carried were, so I packed a Macintosh. Uh, it's really down there. I'll show you when I'm done. So the Macintosh was... Maybe when she needs to play on the bed, so she, if she, in case she pees or she pours water on the bed. Right now she's using the bottle to drink water, so in case any of that happens, then we're good. And then you need clothing. So we're here for three and a half days. And my husband was like, I need to multiply that by three. So we ended up carrying so many things. Uh, my absolute favorite are these little trousers. So cute. They are super warm. Not too warm, just medium warm. And I love them because they fit her perfectly. And then, you know me, I got them in every color. Because you don't know when you'll need them and when you won't need them. So far, she hasn't had the chance to wear them because it's still warm. She's just in her rompers. And pajamas, which I thought she would need. But then I realized they are woolen. I don't like when she sleeps in woolen things because it could be irritating or too warm or sometimes not so warm. So I didn't carry any of so many of those. I just carried one set of the woolen pajamas and then many vests because what it's good I did because then I realized because of the warmth, she likes just, you know, chilling in her vest and diaper. So it's good I carried so many vests so she can just hang out with her vest and the onesies as well many of these because these are safer because then if she's cold you just throw a trouser so many of those um yeah more of those ones and then you also for clothing there's so much you need you need socks because you don't know when she'll need them or when she won't need them you need bibs a lot of bibs maybe bibs tea things so i definitely need all the bibs i can in the world and then I think now we are done with the clothing. Just pajamas, warm clothes, light clothes, medium. And yeah, I think those are all that I carried for the, paja for the clothing, which filled most of the suitcase. And then I will come to her medicine box. 
So this usually has like all the medication she needs, all the cleaning stuff she needs, things that she might need or might not need. So we just ended up carrying the whole box with her medication. There's the, this cup, cup, carpool, there's bony sand, there's a nasal soil, there's cotton wool, there's the her kit for, you know, the care kit that should be in there. Then there's her petroleum jelly, you need that. And then for my baby, we, we use, well, baby vitamin D, we need that as well. We need some sunscreen. It's good I did carry this because then it's hot. She's six months, so we use this. We started using this when she turned six. So there's the sunscreen. And then there's, I, I don't use this a lot. I only use it when she's out. So, and not even all the time because sometimes she'll be wearing her hat. So then I don't need to use this. I rarely use it actually. So, yeah. And then there's Aquaphor. This is my, you know, my everything. This I have to carry it everywhere. That's why it's in my handbag. And then, you know, I think for the medication box, that's about it. Yeah, then I threw in some things, her shower gel in here. It's, sorry, it's in the bathroom. So there's her shower gel. Um, yeah, I think that's the only other thing that's not in the box that should have been in the box. Yeah, then we move to the diaper package. So I didn't know again how many diapers she'd need. So I just decided to buy this small pack and then carry the whole thing and then carried a whole pack of uh, wet wipes. And yeah, for her, for her, I think for her diaper package, that's about it. Um, I think I'm done. Yeah, that's everything I I carried. And then now for the feeding part, because now she's winning, I did carry a feeding bottle, two feeding bottles. Now one for the water and one for her porridge. Or yeah, mostly porridge, and then a plate spoon and a bib the silicone ones for feeding which sorry they're not here with me they're in the kitchen and yeah for feeding i think that's about it because so far i haven't had i haven't missed something that i wish i did carry also because she's on she's just started having a porridge so i felt like it's safer for me to just carry my own uh flour so i did carry that as well from home it's in the kitchen I think if you're not sure about what the hotel provides, you can call them before you come and just tell them the things you need or you can carry your own things. For me, okay, I obviously know they, they do have the equipment and the ingredients they need for porridge, but I just felt it's better if I carry my own Wimby and, yeah, my own Wunga. And it's fine. So far, the kitchen staff, they know how to prepare food for the baby, so I don't have a problem with that. And so, as you can tell, there are some important things that should be here and they're not here. So I realized I forgot to carry the baby's uh, bathing basin, which <laughs> so that, that's funny because on our way, I was like, you know, it's it's fine. We don't need to buy another one. We can I can either use. I can either use the bathtub. So I'll just put in the bathtub and then wash her with the shower head or I can put in the sink. So I'll show you the photos of the two. So the sink happened to be a bit too small for her. She's a big baby. And the bathtub in my room, I couldn't figure how to turn the water warm enough for her. So that became a problem. So we had to improvise. Uh, for the first night, we just had to use the sink. Yes, so we put the baby in the sink <laughs> and she was too big for the sink. And yeah, we learned our lesson the hard way. So now I think for today we'll have to improvise. I think what I'll do just maybe probably get a jug and then use it to wash the baby in the bathtub. Because I thought maybe I can use the shower head. But then the danger is if I sleep in the shower head, that will be disastrous. So we decided no, we're not going to go with the shower head. Yeah, we'll just try and find a way of using the bathtub. Or maybe I can ask for another room with a perfect bathtub. Then maybe I can use that. So it's important to carry a basin. And I remember when she was a newborn and I used to see the foldable bath basin and I was like, at what point will I really need this? Now, looking back, I wish I got that, the foldable one, because then I'll just fold it and, you know, carry 
carry it with me and it wouldn't be such a hassle like it was for me to carry the the other one one day I even forgot it and then we also definitely have the stroller it's not here with me but we did come with a stroller which came in handy so when we are feeding when when maybe sometimes when I'm feeding I feed down the stroller if she sleeps and you're out there she can just sleep on the stroller and when we are eating we can put on the stroller so then she doesn't get fussy then she can it's easier it just makes everything easier even just moving around with her it's so much easier with the stroller and we obviously didn't use a car seat yeah cuz for other reasons we didn't see the need to to use a car seat on our way here so but it was it was a funny thing she wasn't fussy so i don't think you need anything in the travel on your travel on your journey here like a fancy travel system cuz she loved the ride here from Nairobi to here she wasn't fussy she was sleeping most of the time so i didn't really see i thought maybe a car seat would be too bulky or maybe she'll feel uncomfortable and maybe fuss around but we did well without it so we didn't see the need for it i, I don't think i've forgotten to mention any important thing so far but if there's anything else that i remember about i'll talk about it in the next episode about more on the packing for a baby. So this was packing for a baby to the Mara, which is so much different from say packing for a baby to Mombasa. So we'll always review the things we pack for a baby when you're traveling to, you know, to educate you as well. We learn we we'll, we will learn the hard way and also we learn and know the things we need and the things we don't need. I think that's that. Thank you for watching. Please share, subscribe and talk about it with your friends. Bye.